Hey everybody, we're going to do some gears in a Dio today. We're going to do some TDH gears. Uh, we're trying to get to 50 miles per hour on the stock bore, so... Definitely need to do gears now. Just did a V8 on it, didn't get us there. So, I'm going to start by taking all these 8s out. It's going to be suctioned, so you can take them out, it's not going to leak. Unless it's already leaking to start with. <laughs> Let me get a little drip pan just in case. Oh, put the pan under there. Take all these eights out. That should be all of them. So, this is original. So, alrighty. So, we're gonna pry that open. There's spots where it's not touching the case that you can pry and nothing hits. I pried right up in here, highest point, and drain the fluid. I'm going to take the axle nut off as well while we're here. It's going to be a 22 since we have. There she goes. No old rusty dowels. So it's a two bearing cover, AF18 style. And then this is actually your axle nut. So that wheel's still on there without the axle. So these are. Top gears. There really wasn't a lot of oil in there. That's kind of scary. So I'm going to go to the press and we're going to press this off and put the main one on and I'll reset it up for that. All right. So we've got a box as the washer. Crank it down. There it goes. Sometimes it pops off, you don't even need to go that far down. But in this case... Alright, so we got a 3 extension. Boom. Every time it gets me. So, out with the old, up. We are going to press like this down. So we're going to have to find a socket that goes over it, which I think I have right here. Yep. So we're going to do that. It's going to go on nice and easy. But we're also going to have to get a piece of wood and hold this properly. So All right. Make sure it's going nice and straight. The good thing about the weak jack is you can't overdo it. But I'll show you how I did it. So through some three quarter sockets on top, and it wraps over this socket like that. It sits right in that ridge. And then what you do is you could take your old one, slide it up, and it's the perfect spacer. So you can put it on your jig. So that's what it looks like without all that stuff in the way. And this is what it looks like finished. So. This is the TWH 
1542 uh, going in. Right there. And I sell those on my site if you guys ever need them. Alrighty. So I'm going to step you guys back, break clean out the inside, and then I'll put the rest of the gears in. I just want to get that old crud off, especially on the bottom. Alrighty, putting the gears back in. Anytime you do aftermarket gears, rubber washer, 99% of the time you don't use it. Stock gear, aftermarket gear, UH15 tooth. Let's take this one out. That's stock, no one needs it. Like that. And that goes right there. Then the axle that I did, I forget where I put that dang axle. Oh, here it is. Break right clean. A little dirt on it from the vise. <laughs> what I'm actually going to do is put the axle on that bond. It's going to snug everything up. started. That'll hold that in there for me. And we are going to get my Honda Bond right here. I'm gonna make a nice coating of it all the way around. All right, so we're gonna put the cover on. Got our Honda Bond on the gasket. So we are gonna be able to slide it on. Oh, I, need still I found it. almost forgot the little breather. I'm gonna slide this on now. tap it a little with the hammer, which is okay. These are very strong covers. There it is, see? Just needs to get into the dowel. All right, that's close. We'll bring them all in. Eights. You don't want to do it all at once. You want to go in easy, so. Snug it down, give it a half a turn. Start on the other side, snug it down, give it a half a turn. Yeah, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. When it's drying also, I like to take these extra bolts. So yeah, I like to run extra CVT bolts down, even if you're not using the clutch bell or cover anything like that, but those threads will never get full of Honda Bond or anything gasket material. And it's also another spot that it'll push down. So now that it's installed, um, we're gonna let it sit. It's gonna dry. So we're gonna dry it. Um, we'll put the CVT back together, the axle nut, I'm gonna tighten it up. But then we're gonna fill it with 7590 and then take it for a test ride. Thank you. Alrighty, well everything's drying. We're gonna put the CVT back together. Spike has Melosi belt, 1200. Uh, Contra and stop clutch springs because they seem to work really good. On. Pinch it. So it, I found with this Melosi belt, for best travel, two shims. And it works great. When the came here without any shims, now it was. It was wicked loose. It was, uh, no, sorry, wicked tight. Like, if you were spinning it by hand, you were turning the engine over. You're supposed to have, like, an inch or two of slack. So, I made it right. Half inch. my 
17. See, you want about that much slack. See how it goes a little bit and then grabs, a little bit and grabs. Before it was just like, it was one piece. So that would have worn the belt out in a couple rides. We don't want that. showed this a few times before but that's already dry so we're good to put this in 7590 synthetic gear oil always the best choice so the system is fill it until you spill it so you want to fill it until it starts coming out it's okay to put a little bit extra in there he is. A little sound clip. Alright, we're gonna go slide around the yellow bike. But here it is all set with those gears and take it for a ride, see what she does.